Major League Soccer has officially awarded its 30th team to San Diego. The new expansion club will begin play in 2025 at Snapdragon Stadium. This soccer club is your soccer club. It belongs to this city. We are merely custodians. It's your community, and this soccer club is going to be here in San Diego for a long, long time. That's Mohammed Mansour, one of the club's owners. Mansour is an Egyptian billionaire, businessman, and chairman of the Mansour Group. The Saquon tribe is the other owner, and they're the first Native American tribe to have an ownership stake in professional soccer in the United States. Saquon tribe chairman Cody Martinez describes what it means to represent the 18 Native American reservations in San Diego. I want to be able to, to help look back 30, 40, 50 years from now and just feel great that I've been a part of that. And so we'll be able to, like we say in, in Native American culture, seven generations. And so I have to get planning today so I can help those seven generations build a better tomorrow. MLS Commissioner Don Garber describes why San Diego deserves a home team. San Diego is just such a great sports market and it's a great soccer market. Soccer professionally has succeeded here for many, many years, uh, it, but it always sort of was missing something. We needed a great stadium. This soccer ball is made up of all 18 cities that make up San Diego County. And within the next couple of weeks, the MLS will be going out into the community to see what the fans are really like. And to wrap up, each city section will be turned into an art piece that represents what drives each community. Oh, and there's one member of the investment group sports fans may already recognize. Here's a hint. Machado to deep left and deep in Yep, San Diego Padres third baseman Manny Machado. It means so much to me, my family, um, you know, to continue to plant roots in this community. Melissa May, KPBS.